Today we're going to work with solving systems of inequalities on Desmos. And if you know, if you notice what we have here, we have two inequalities. Y is greater than negative 2x plus 1. And Y minus X is less than or equal to X plus 3. Well, when we solved systems before, we looked for the place where those two lines intersected. In this little picture that I drew, that would be that point right there. But now we have inequalities, and so we've been dealing with shading. So let's see how easy this is. We're going to look for where the shading places intersect. So let's go to Desmos, and let's put in our um, two systems. All right, so our first inequality was y is greater than negative 2x plus 1. Negative 2x plus 1. And we see that Desmos has shaded this inequality for us. But now at the same time, let's go to box two and let's put in the other inequality, which was y minus x is less than or equal to three. And you will see that there are two inequalities graphed, okay, and we want to look for where the overlap took place, and that is this area down in here, okay. This blue line is the line y minus x is less than or equal to 3, so it's shaded below that, okay, and this line over here shaded above this, so I'm sorry, I said a minute ago, I pointed down here as the solution. This area in here is the solution to this system, okay, over in here. So if you want to sketch um, this on um, your notes section, I'm going to download this. And put it in my file here. If you want to put this in your notes section, you don't need to make it as detailed as this. I just want you to shade this area right in here. This is our solution to the system, the place where the blue and the red overlapped. This area that has both of them together. That is the solution to the system of equations, which is, I'll draw an arrow here just to be clear. This right here is the solution. All right, so make sure you have a sketch of that in your notes someplace. That is the solution to this system, and Desmos does it for us. Let's look at the second system. 3x minus y is greater than or equal to 2. And we'll take out our previous system. 3x minus y is greater than or equal to 2. And our other one is 3x minus y is less than negative 5. And you'll notice this looks interesting because there's no overlap. That's because the two lines were parallel. All right, because the two lines are parallel, just like before when we did systems of equations, Desmos helps us see 
that because the shading is on opposite sides, in this case, there's no solution. All right, and so let's put a little sketch of that into your notes, and we will then wrap things up. This is a pretty short presentation. So in this case, because there is no overlap, all right, this one is no solution. And make sure that your notes show the fact that none of the shading overlaps. There's no overlap. All right, and so that's why this one has no solution. And we will stop there for today.